Welcome back again. We're at another video. I uh, hope you're enjoying the content now. Just uh, ramping it up. Put some good, hopefully good content that you're all enjoying. Uh, a bit of a day to day stuff. So we have a 2019 Euro 6 CF85, obviously, with engine malfunction. Uh, this is the fault that we have. So we have revolution sensor crankcase ventilation system. So I'm going to put a crank vent on it. Now I'm going to quickly show you where it is. Ute. So that is it down there, right here is where it is. If you can see that, so that involves taking off all this pipe, all this pipe work here has got to come off. We're going to get that all out of the way to gain access to it. So, what I'm going to do first is we're going to get that pipe off. You'll need a 30 mil for the mounting bolt, two 30 mils. Uh, top here, it's a spanner with that, some sort of fat base screwdriver or something just to get the clips off. So let's get cracking with that first, and then we'll see what else brings for the rest of the day. Well, not the rest of the day, I'm sort of late in the evening now. We're at half four, quarter five, so might have a curtain test, do not do that, so we'll see. So let's, um, let's get a pipe off, and then I'll show you the rest. So here it's a 13mm mountain bolt just there two hose clips normally at the top and at the bottom on the turbo and the sensor so there's our crank vent we've got one two uh three four i think about six on here and then obviously this little clip sensor wiring let's pull that off so, these are a bit better because they've not got torque bolts on them. The old ones were a bit of a nuisance with that really, but yeah, we're gonna get these out and uh, just get it off and fit a new one. Not, not bad of a job really, more taking off the pipe work and everything. It can be a bit fiddly, so let's get them cracked out and uh, put the new one in. So now I've got that, the top two bolts out. All I'm going to do is I'm going to lift it up in the air and I'm going to get the bottom ones out, saves the corner all on the floor and everything. So one, two there, and then I think there's one, two, and I think there's about four left to do. So let's get them out and then we can pull it out through the bottom. Yeah, okay, we pull it out through the bottom and then we'll have a look at it uh, properly and see what it's all about. I forgot to say, drop down in the comments and let me know whether you want to see another be be uh, Beetle video. I haven't put it out yet. I've literally just, a few little bits I want to edit about it, but let me know if you want to see it. You want to see what, what progress I've made with it. And you do like uh, Beetle videos, whether it's something you like watching and everything like that. So but anyway, let's get this up in the air and uh, let's get these bolts out of the bottom. So there's our crankcase there. One, two, three, four bolts. So just them four bolts and then it will come out. So let's, uh, let's get these undone. And let's pull the crankcase off. The vent, crank vent. <laughs> Just be wary when you do them. They do chuck a bit of oil out. Only a tiny bit, nothing to write home about. So that's our crankcase filter out. Nothing. It's a lot to him really. He's not really, like I say, it's not a hard job. It's just. Yeah, one of them jobs, not bad at all. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna get a new one and then we're gonna do the opposite. So we're gonna put it in through the bottom, do the bottom up first and then do the top. So there's our old one, there's our new one. So let's get it all lined up and get it bolted up and then uh, we'll have a look with jail test and see what we have to do there. So nice and simple. I'm gonna come up through this way. Oh. Oh yeah, sausage. There's a, there's a lug that it goes on at the top. So we'll put a couple of bolts in. And then we've got this bottom one. You get the gist of it. Let's just do that one up. Don't have to go 
go mud tight. Little clip in here and that is what holds that on there. So nice and simple there. I'm going to time lapse the rest of it. All right, we'll check the oil. Always want the cabs over anyway, just check the oil and don't do any arm. So we'll check that and then we will clean that up and then we'll get the cab over. So this is a, another job that we need to get done on the second axle. This is on another truck and just servicing. So we're gonna to need to tap all these out. And we also have a broken one here. So. My plan is I'm going to centre dot it, drill it, and I'm going to tap all these holes are all fresh for a new, new set of um, bolts. So, yeah, let's uh, let's get tapping these out and then try and get that bolt out. So, all I'm going to do is screw it in a bit. I always got taught when you're tapping anything out, a few turns in and a couple out. One, two, three, and then back a bit. Just keep lubing it. Like that. Do you think? Always test it after. So, my exhaust screws in. Nice. So we're going to get this bottom one, just I had to put a drill bit through it just to clean it out because it still had shit in it. So like we said, start it a little bit, wind it off a bit, a few threads in, wind it off and I'll repeat that process, a bit of lube, a bit of brake cleaner, whatever. There we go, we're moving in nicer now. Don't take long just to do it properly. Nice and easy job that. So I'm going to get the other ones cleaned out. The last one, done that one. Uh, you can see it. So we've done this one here. That one's done. This one's now done. We need to put a drill, tidy that up and do that one and then we need to centre dot that and drill it out so I'm going to get this bit finished, I'll finish the last one off and then uh, we'll move on. So whenever we're doing anything with that, getting broken bolts out or anything like that, we're going to have to probably drill it. So, I'm going to find the centre. So, I'm going to, we've got our centre punching dot in here. And all we're going to do, nice and 
Mark Navy. We might be able to, sort of, hopefully you can see that light, right, maybe if I, hang on. No, right there, boys and girls. Uh, no. Got it, I'm gonna zoom in, but if we drill it a bit more. <laughs> See if we can knock a torch into it. It might not work, but we can try. Anything is worth a go. Alright, folks. Hold it there, sweethearts. Okay. So. But it is worth a go. Good up, boys and girls. Out like that. Now that don't always work, but it is worth a go. So all I'm going to do now is run a tap down that, clean it all out, and we'll move on to the other ones. So trust me when I say this, yeah. I've never been massively good at doing drilling out tapping stuff and whatnot it's not not one of my specialities you know, we're not all perfect but i don't think that went too bad there's probably different ways I'm sure people in the comments will say i could have done better but the main thing is they screw in and we've got a hub cap that is back to how it should be. So we're all about learning. If anyone has any tips, please drop down in the comment and let me know. Because as much as people learn from this, from the channel, that's what it's all about. I'm also learning as well, so please drop a comment and let me know of a better way. So there we have it. Four new fresh bolts, all secure and done. So I've only got another three to go. But before that, let's get underneath and have a look at it. This is a different vehicle now, so I need to finish some more inspection off and make sure we're all good and then we'll carry on this video a bit after. Next job on the agenda is this steering arm. Now, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, try and show you. So, if you look there, and there we go. Hang on, boys. There, oh, as you see. Got quite a bit of movement there, so. Plan is, so we're going to get the cap off first, nice and easy. We're going to use the screw screwdriver. We're going to get the cap off first, and then we'll have a look behind it. So hopefully you boys can see that. Um, it's got a washer kind of thing in between it somewhere in this gap there'll be should be a lug bent over i think it's that one there so it's got like a little tab that folds over the nut 
So we need to undo that first. Get that tab out. Uh, let's have a look. <coughs> so I can see it. Yeah. There. So you can quickly get it for you. That. See where it's folded up? Let's see if I can at the top here. There, that tab's folded back. So they're just literally over these lugs there. So let's get it undone. It might be the case of it's like just loose, but it might be the case of it's warm. So. What I'm going to do is see that's tight. So if you look, you can see the plane that can't really let that go. It's not even shifting. So it probably wants the bearing. Replace it. So I'm going to get this undone and then we'll have a look. So, that's the bearing out. Uh, I'm gonna give it a clean up, but I'm gonna see if we can get one anyway, get a new nut and everything like that. So, we'll proper clean it out and do everything. Probably should re replace the racer, but yeah. We're gonna, I'm gonna see if we can get a bearing first and, um, and then we'll go from there. We'll probably maybe clean it up, repack it with grease. We'll have a look, but it definitely won't, uh, it definitely won't loose. I think it's just worn. So that's the um, idler bearing out and everything. Um, they've got it all in stock, so we're gonna put a new bearing, grease, new nut, new space washer, and then this obviously comes with two nuts, so um, hopefully that will do it and fix it. Uh, I'm not gonna, I don't really wanna leave it. Uh, so we've done done all the hubcaps. I've done, well, now I've the idler bearing, so Oh, arm bearing, sorry. We're gonna wait for it past it there, and then we'll put it all back together. Hopefully, and hopefully it'll do the job. Um, there probably should be a, there's probably a proper socket for it, a proper torque thing for it, but it's going FT today, so yeah. Let's um, get it all back together, and then probably see what happens. We'll possibly end this video there. So change of plan. Uh, we're gonna do. I'm gonna take the drop arm off because I'm going to do the inner bearing as well. We're gonna do the lock. Uh, we've got a kit, so we might as well store the lock at once. So I'm gonna get the uh, steering arms all off, off camera, and then once we've got a, the idler off, then we'll have a look at it. So that's the idler arm off. This is the end that goes against the chassis. This is the bit of the bearing we took out. So get this seal out and then we'll get the, uh, the bearing out. So look, there was the bearing. Yeah, totally buggered. So what I'm gonna have to do is clean all this out. We've got two races in there. See, one here. And then one down there so i'm gonna get them knocked out and then we'll clean it all up that actually went a lot easier than i thought uh so that's uh they're different sizes you can't get them really mixed up if you look at the size difference you know they're quite considerably the different size one fits inside the other so i'm gonna get this on a part so let's get this all clean up properly and then we'll get ready to put the new bearing in and everything like that. So we've got the new racing. 
what I know I fit in with the old race simple as that uh, so got the bearing here some slot right in there and then we have a seal here that goes on so I'm going to pack this full of probably BPW grease so good thick strong grease pack that in there uh, we'll knock the other side racer in and then we'll get ready to put the drop arm back on so bearing grease racer in new o-ring in clean it all up bit of brake clean on there we'll clean that up uh, I'm gonna put the racer on the other side we'll grease it when we've got the arm back on so easy enough to do that is so I'm gonna turn it over now turn it over, and then put a race in this side Right, let's get a few things before anyone puts in the comments. Yeah, there probably is a socket for it. Uh, I always got taught with the bearing, with roller bearing, do, do the first one up, tight, back it off a little bit. Then I'll put the space, little spacer, teethy thing, wash one of these, one of these on. And then the last one, we'll do it tight. And obviously we, we nip the little things into the gaps. So that's how I do it with the cap. Um, everyone has their own different ways of doing it. The way they'll do it now, I've never had a problem with, so. Here's what it is. Not all of us have the same ways of doing stuff, and that's fine, isn't it? So let the, all I do in the end uh, is just slap a little bit of, little bit of grease in the cap. Tap the cap on. So caps on, that's a little fiddling. So yeah, just check the bearing. Yes, lovely, beautiful. So I'm gonna whip all the steering arms back on and then we'll be done this job. So that is it on, cap back on. The two steering uh, dragons, I'm gonna call them, are all bolted back on and secured. And that is it done, no playing it. Two new bearings, new racers, new seal, uh, new nuts, new washers and everything. So that's all that's secure. So I'm gonna end this video here. And yeah, it's another job done.